Welcome to Chewing the Cud with Dominic Berry and Mike Benyon Rowe. But I will never do that for Valentine's again. Hello, I'm Dominic Berry and this is Chewing the Cud. It's brilliant to be here, but I'm not on my own. How are you doing, Mike? All the better for seeing you, young man. <laughs> All the better for seeing you. Thank you for coming back. Oh, it's a brilliant thing to be here. I love it. Love it. Mike, what have you got for the buzz today? Well, today, as it's Valentine's Day, I've got some great gift ideas for you all. Excellent. <laughs> well, we all like gifts for Valentine's Day. Are you much of a giver or receiver when it comes to Valentine's gifts? I'm always a receiver. <laughs> always lovely, well, lovely. Well, apart from that one time quite recently, but it was more of a, an aberration. You mean actual presents. I do mean presents. I'm one of those people who say, no, 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 I don't mind, I don't mind. Be anti-consumerist, honestly, don't matter. And then secretly I'm seething <laughs> if a certain <laughs> level of present is not delivered to me. 100%. On screen now you can see our contact info. It's at The Cud TV on social media where you can follow us. TheCud.tv for our website. And on YouTube or a podcast service, look for Chewing the Cud and please hit subscribe. And as names lovingly linger along the bottom of the screen, it's this week's Showbiz with Dominic. So we're all about unusual celebrity couples this oh, week. That's so like me and Chris Hemsworth. Like you and Chris Hemsworth. Yeah, definitely. Married. Have, you, have you seen have you seen the, the, the most recent Thor with Chris Hemsworth? Yes. You know that's not his bottom. It wasn't his bottom I was trying to look at. <laughs> CGI, I feel so lied to. I feel you I thought I'd seen his like. I, I wanted bottom. to see the front view. Well that would have been CGI too. I don't mind. Oh, I no, really I do. <laughs> I feel deceived. I feel I want my money back. The, the whole film's a write-off just on that deception of Chris horrifying. Hemsworth Bottom. Horrifying. But it's not you and Chris we're talking oh. about. We've, uh, we've got some images of some people who are in couples at okay. the moment who perhaps you might not have put them together if you were thinking who might naturally get it together. So we've got Emily Ratajowski with Eric Andre. Well, I mean, she was dating Pete Davidson for a while. Not a completely unexpected twist, but yeah, as long as they're happy. I can't really see it, to be fair. He's got a lot of hair. It's interesting what people see as beautiful or conventionally attractive, mm -hmm. because I know this is like what you're meant to say, but I really, really mean this. Most of the guys I've dated, it's been absolutely like their personality. And I know that sounds so like, oh, that's so wholesome and politically correct, but it really is, it really well, is. The, pe the people I've dated, it's always been for their personality and stuff. It's, it's the random shag, it's for their body. I'm gonna be honest, I'm poor. <laughs> but you know, um, <laughs> if they're hot, then I'll have a go. But yeah. these two are proper serious and that's all yeah, good, isn't that's it? All good, that's then. lovely. Yeah. Oh, well, let's have a look at the next one. We've got Matthew Lawrence here with, do you know who this is? No. Oh, this is Chili from TLC. They've had a really? bit of a comeback recently. She's yeah. aged well. Yeah. She's yeah. Exactly aged Fantastic. Well. Matthew Lawrence, I'm not happy about. In what way are you not happy? The fact he still looks that young. Yeah. Because he was Jerry Lawrence's younger brother. TLC were on at the most recent Glastonbury Festival. Really? I don't like to mention that I get booked for Glastonbury. I get booked for Glastonbury oh, right. with my poetry, you know. Oh, you do poetry? Uh, I do poetry, yeah. yeah you mentioned that. And, uh, <laughs> you know, Glastonbury is is such an amazing booking. and uh, But they got it wrong for TLC because they put them on on a stage of a certain size and they're so popular mm -hmm. and they were flooded with people. So people who were just, like, queuing up to get burgers or chips or not were, like swallowed by, like, the eager fans for TLC. Wow. It was a proper, like, health and safety nightmare, you know. But I think well earned. I, I yeah. you know, I mean, I'm saying this. I didn't catch this particular gig because it's one of these festivals where just everything's amazing. Uh, yeah. It's so difficult to choose. So I didn't catch them, and I wish I had, because in the 90s, I was quite a fan. Waterfalls. Yes. That's the Maybe without that dance. That's the dance they did. They just happened to be in water, and it looked... A 
impressive. I'd do it on sat down in a chair. <laughs> Google the video, it's there. It, it's yeah, there. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so I've got um, some photos of celebrity couples. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna quiz you here. Okay. I'm gonna quiz you. I'm gonna quiz you because uh, you weren't so hot at getting who Chili was. No. Right. So I'm gonna see if you can recognise the people in the photos that we're gonna show you now. Okay. So let's have a picture. Here. Right. So who are these? One of them is RuPaul, ten on ten. So all of these are celebrity couples. So that might and and RuPaul's partner. RuPaul's partner. Do you know the name of RuPaul's partner? Mr. RuPaul's partner. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> it's, I, it's very tall. RuPaul's like six foot tall. This other person's taller than. Wow. Seven foot a hundred. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a long climb. That's a Georges Lebar. Oh. Okay, now, out of all the images, we got this next one, right? I don't know if you're going to get it. When I first saw this, it took me a while. Let's have the next image. Who are these cool cats? Almost like a holiday snap. Old photograph. Old photo. Well, the, the little lady. The little lady. Oh, my. <laughs> me grand. The little lady. It wasn't. She was Welsh, so I don't know why that accent came out. Um, she looks like uh, Posh Spice, so Victoria Beckham. Which that is means correct. the man that she's... Clinging on to for dear life, going, you're my meal ticket, because I can't sing, would be um, David Beckham. <laughs> ten on ten. A pre-tattoo Beckham. He looked better then. Do you know, if you'd have shown me that picture without her, I would have, I would have never got that that was David Beckham. I, I think it's the hat that's, like... Hiding all the hair, because we're yeah. had hair. Yeah, well big, done. Big, that's yeah, very good. Thanks. Very good, yeah. Thanks, um, good it, deduction you... there. Good detective work. Do you prefer him with the tattoos, then? I do like a tattoo. I do. I'm less keen on on David Beckham with uh, you know, yeah. There's been all the football, uh, <laughs> yeah, World yeah. Cup, Qatar Ooh, shenanigans. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. We, we've so. fallen out with with his politics. Yeah, say. yeah. All right. Who are this next couple? Do you know these folks? I do because you do? I watch this show a lot on do TV. You? Um, Escape to the Shadows, Dick and Angela uh, Angel Strawbridge. That is. Absolutely right. I would have no idea if I, I didn't them. have it written right here in front of me. I do not. What? What's the show about? They've bought a, an, a dilapidated chateau in. The in real, are they characters or is no, this true? Real. This is this right. Is real. Yeah. It's actually a documentary. Like, um, okay. What's it called? Reality TV show. And they've bought this rundown old chateau in the middle of France, and they're doing it up as a wedding venue and that sort of thing. And they actually got married in there, and it's like they're, the story of their journey. Okay. But for people of a certain age. Um, that may remember Scrap Heap Challenge. Not many people do. Um, but Dick was actually a captain on Sc Scrap Heap Challenge a long okay. time ago, in like okay. the late 90s. So um, you're an OG fan? I am, yes. So when I found out he he found a, had a new wife and was buying a, a chateau, I'm like, I'm going to watch that. And you can see all the engineering that he does because he was a, a mechanic in the armed force, he is. But he, he can botch anything up and he does it really well. So, yeah. Love that show. Fair play, Love fair play. Show. All righty, next celebrity couple. Okay. Who are these? Oh, it's her from Hollywood, not the, the place, this TV show from Netflix. Which one? The, the ginger one. <laughs> the ginger one. What's, what's her name, the ginger one? What's she called? Oh, the woman from Hollywood from <laughs> Netflix. I don't remember names. Do you know? Do you know her partner? From the way she's gripping onto her hand with dear life, I hope she knows her. Um, <laughs> I'm going. I think. I think one of them's got a weird name, like a country. So it's Belgium or something. Holland Taylor. It's close. It's close. <laughs> and Sarah Paulson. Ah. Oh. oh, Sarah Paulson. She was in Thingy. She was in Thingy. You are not was. wrong. No, That's exactly right. I'm yeah. good at this game. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we got two more. Let's have our penultimate one. So a bit of a heartthrob from uh, from my teenage days in the next one. I've given you a clue, though. I'll say no more. Let's okay. have a look at the image. Who's uh, Who are these two? Oh, Ricky Martin and... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't like him. Also... He looks good there. He's a fine wine, isn't he's, he, Ricky he's Martin? Aged well. He has aged very well. Look at. Oh. I mean, the tux definitely brings out the better. Look at that. Look at that jawline. Look at I that. I mean, he's probably had work done, and I don't care. Fair play. <laughs> it's a uh, Juan, Ricky Martin, and um, the music videos of similar age. So mm. yes, moments of childhood and lots of tissues for Ricky Martin. <laughs> Not <of> tissues. <laughs> Crying over not being with him. 
Yes. <laughs> From one particular eye. <laughs> uh, right, moving on to our last, last celebrity. The left one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Single tear. <laughs> Single tear, single, single tear. tear. The left yeah. Right, final couple. Mm -hmm. Right, last one. Right, this is the real quiz. Who are these? Who are these? Oh, it's what's the face? I'm really good at celebrity. <laughs> this is why I don't do the celebrity stuff. She was in Orange is the New Black and um, other stuff. But I can't remember her name. I'm not going to mock you because you've done a lot better than I would have done if our tables were, were turned. You know, I'd, I'd be still patting myself on the back at getting uh, David Beckham by process of elimination. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, no I'd, I'd, she looks familiar. She's definitely done The Orange is the New Black. Lauren Morelli and ah. Samira Wiley. Yes, there we go. Really? Oh, well done. I, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a score of uh, eight out of ten. That's not actually based on who you got I was right. That's say, just, that's not uh, based on my admiration for your your witty and skillful answers. You got at least an extra point five for your Ricky Martin crying anecdote. It wasn't an anecdote. It's actually true. That and um, LL Cool J. But um, thanks for that, Dominic. Um, bringing back memories of a childhood. <laughs> you are very very welcome. I now stick around because next we've got Mike in the buzz. Hey, hey, hello, hello. You are watching Chewing the Cud with me. I am Dominic Berry and this one is Mike. And Mike is going to chat to us about what the buzz is. Mike, what is the buzz? <laughs> I didn't think you could hear that, but I've got new batteries in, basically. Um, so, as, as it's Valentine's Day. <laughs> yes. Funny, because it's true. Um, I, I thought I'd have a look at our Valentine's Day horoscopes. Lovely. Now, for anybody that, that actually likes this sort of thing, it might not be accurate. <laughs> <laughs> might just be a little bit. But I've got a lovely little, a little um, astrology chart. I've made a bit... It's a bit gay, too. Hey! Lovely. How, how, it's a rainbow. And you've got all the stars of the zodiac and things there. Don't know what they all mean. Um, but so, so we start with with Sagittarius. That is my one. I Ooh. think is that Sagittarius the arrow? I don't know. Shoot your poison arrow through my heart. Carry us. <laughs> <laughs> um, so um, yours is to you should go with the flow this Valentine's Day. Always do. Yeah, and you won't be disappointed. Playful spontaneity will bring many romantic rewards. Many? Many romantic. Someone's having an orgy. Because <laughs> um, the next line is have fun. Right. So, yeah, if you see Dominic Berry on Grinder, <laughs> that's option. Um, my, I'm an Aquarius. Okay. I just had my birthday. Uh -huh. I'm now, oh, see. Um, this says the normal, calm, cool, and collected personality of yours. This is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Who wrote this? Um, <laughs> Maybe super emotional today, crying wank. Um, you may prefer to stay at home with your honey. Yes, that's staying at home. Tell me to stay up. So, yeah. So, orgy for me, cry wank for Mike. <laughs> Standard. Wow. Standard Wednesday, that really. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, we'll have a look at maybe Pisces. Okay. okay yeah. So the fish people. Um, that's mm -hmm. people that have represented by the fish, not actual fish <laughs> like mermaids. Um, it's a day of fantasy for them. Lovely. Yeah. Um, the only problem that work, chores, or other nitty picky details will get in the way so of their going, fantasies. Of their fantasy. Oh, no. Yeah. Just get the tasks done before you play, is a thing. So. Good advice. Exactly. Good advice. Yeah. Wash the spatula before you spank someone with it. <laughs> um, a Virgo. Uh, the gallery have picked up there. Apparently, they've got Virgos in there. Um, you could be dealing with a secret admirer this year. It says could be. Dealing with a secret admirer this year. Or maybe you're the secret lover. If not, then plan a quiet evening tucked away at home. Very pleasant. So a lot of people stay at home and have a wank this. Yeah. yeah. But who am I having the orgy with if all these people <laughs> are staying at home? Like, Sagittarians yeah. are horrible. They're all like <laughs> me. They're, like, dead loud and, you know, go on about themselves and leap about. I don't want an orgy with all them. That was more fun than <laughs> orgy people going, I'll just have a cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> um, but if you want to share something with us, libelous or not, 
feel free to at the Could TV on social media. Now, Valentine's Day presents. So you're currently single. I am. Right, and as, as am I. But there's nothing to stop us wishing people well and telling, give them ideas of things to buy. Mm. I had, with a housemate a few years ago, a Palentine's Day. Okay. Yeah, it started well and it ended well. There was a dodgy bit in the middle. The beginning was she was like, you know, we're both single. Let's mm -hmm. commit to having a friendship day. And I was like, yeah. The end was really good. We did do that. But the middle went a bit, mm, when she suddenly went, you know what, but if a hot guy asks me out, obviously I'll dump you. <laughs> I was like, what? What? <laughs> it made me really not want to do it then, just out of spite, you know. But but a hot guy didn't ask her out. Karma. And, uh, yeah, we, we had a really nice day together. So this could be a Palentine's Day It could gift. be a Palentine's Day That's a lovely idea. 15th of March is for me. Just saying. <laughs> um, so we've got some, some ideas of things you could purchase. The first one. It's a pillow or a lovely little cushion that says, I love you to the and moon back. Because <laughs> someone's not thought about whether words make sense. <laughs> so, That's yeah. like one of those tests where they put a word in twice deliberately. Yeah. I don't know how long it would have taken me to have <laughs> spotted that. In fact, I'd have probably bought that. <laughs> that is funny. They've done that deliberately as a cruel thing to trick people like me, just so they can laugh. It's it's not a mistake, it's a test. <laughs> yeah, they've got people like me that go, what? <laughs> <laughs> that makes no sense. Um, so, yes, you could get a, a pillow that tells people that, uh, you know, that, that you're loved to the and moon back. That you love them more than grammar. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> or common sense. Um, or the next next possible gift that we have for you. It's a lovely <laughs> bear giving a cuddle. Ah, <laughs> oh, isn't that lovely? A little hug from a bear. It looks nothing like a penis. It looks a little bit like a penis. Yeah, especially, <laughs> like, if you didn't have it hugging something, you'd see it was arms. But, mm -hmm. yeah, when you engage in the hugging, it, it becomes <laughs> well, a, a, very special a lawsuit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's a very special cuddle that can happen. Um, so you could get a lovely little bear mug. Yeah. I mean, he doesn't look particularly like he's enjoying... Any of it, does he? Reluctant you know, pop. like, yeah. <laughs> so I think I have seen that face at orgies before. I think I, I, <laughs> I know that expression well, yeah. <laughs> I've never seen that face at the orgies. <laughs> um, but we do have another, another potential gift that you could buy. And that's a Reese's... <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Oh, my word. Just a little chocolatey thing. So either mm -hmm. that looks like a real heart severed from a mm -hmm. body or it looks like a turd mm -hmm. or it looks like a, a torn pair of knackered testicles. It like yeah. testicles, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, it, none of them. That. <laughs> <laughs> Just testicles, really, is the word. None of them. None, none of, of them, them are appealing. Yeah, none of them should be mixed with peanut butter. <laughs> well, <laughs> you say that. Testicles <laughs> can go quite... We should move on very quickly because <laughs> this is going to get worse before it gets better. Um, so the next possible gift you could get your loved one or, or pal for Valentine's Day is a facial. <laughs> yeah. So you could say, I love you with a facial. <laughs> yes. They knew. They knew. They, they knew. What? Yeah. What? Brilliant. What Excellent. did they know? I don't get it. They could have a facial. Yeah, yeah. It, it's it's more than uh, youth rejuvenating cream that, that they're referring to. Oh, there. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, OK. Um, didn't quite get that one. Shall we move on? Because um, I thought that was quite a lovely idea. Uh, love is a dong that never ends. Hey! On a cookie. Yeah. Yeah, because that's true. Wow. Um, I think it means song. <laughs> but, um, someone's there's, there's lovely musical notes around the outside of the cookie, um, but yeah, it look, could be a ding dong, ding dong, merrily too. Yeah. <laughs> ding and a dong, um, but yeah, giant cookie with a lo lovely message on. Wow. Or we could get another type of gift, <laughs> which is you know just some lube and some condoms, which you can share with your dad. <laughs> share the love with your dad. Great. There's, yeah. there's a choice. I mean, I share your love with your daddy 100%. But, wow. Yeah, there's a choice of words there. 
it didn't. Why has it got the words bareback, like, right? Oh, it's, that's bareback for your condoms. Oh, OK. And then you've got Playboy condoms to the mm. right. And then champagne at the bottom. Whee! Because, you know, that's one way of getting <laughs> liquid. Um, and then we've got one final suggestion, I believe. Which is a lovely little squirrel saying, I'd be nutting without you. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a reference to well, Hinduism. It's a threat, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, I'm off on that work trip. No, I really don't want you to go. I'd be nutting without you. No, no, I won't go then. I won't go. Yeah. Stay with me forever. <laughs> oh, no, I, I thought it was referring to having a, 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 a wank. <laughs> Just nothing to ejaculate. Mm. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah. But that's all from the buzz this week. Thank you, Mike. All right, stick around, everybody, because coming up, we have something very special for Valentine's slash Palentine's Day. We have Crafty Queens. Hello, hello. You are watching Chewing the Cud. And this week, we are having a romantic style moment in Crafty Queens. So if you're not prepared for Valentine's Day or Palentine's Day from Dobinick, um, you might need to nip out and buy a card. But, you know, difficult to get hold of so we're going to make one instead awesome yeah because supporting no local businesses whatsoever <laughs> <laughs> the economy is what i say right um anti-consumerism so, that is a good thing yeah yeah diy diy i'm in tell me what to do i think i had an anti-consumerism or was it Cynthia? <laughs> anyway, um, so the first thing we're going to do is, is take out our card that I've, I've carefully pre-folded for you. Because that's how kind I am. Yeah. So have you got a, a folded piece of card? I have got my folded piece of card okay. here. So what we want to do is we want to make it look like a Valentine's Day card on the outside. Okay. okay. So you should have some some little little felty hearty things. Right. Yeah. And you can just decorate the card at whim. Okay. On the front at whim. So you can just peel the little white sticky thing off the back. Oh, and... they're stickers. Oh, yeah, they're self-adhesive. Okay. Money not spared. So you are supporting the economy. That's it's all right. Well, I'm supporting things I found in the cupboard at <laughs> Crafty Queens. So. All right, don't matter where I put them. Just No, wherever. Just, just do it for, for yourself. Okay. Um, For whoever you want to, to send the card to sort of thing. Uh, oh, I've, I've, gone, I've gone layered. I've layered up. I've gone hard, heart on heart. That is, oh, now you're putting me to shame. I've been far <laughs> more literal. Okay. It's all right, it can be literal. Okay. Can't get the back off this thing now. Um, I'm going to copy you. Your idea was too good. I'm not, I'm not being outdone <laughs> by your... Yeah. Right. Oh, I, like the, I, like the, I like the feeling of appealing. I don't know what it is. See, I've tried to do that over-the-top thing, but uh -huh. my over-the-top heart looks like that chocolate, peanut butter, Reese's severed testicle bag, thing yeah. we looked at. <laughs> I'd love to see your severed testicles. <laughs> Going to give me a show? <laughs> it doesn't look that bad. OK. I use one of them, just keep at it. And yeah. The more you put on... More is more. More is more. But I'm going to try and overlap this one too. Here okay. we go. Here we go. Oh, I think mine's messy. What, what's yours looking like? Uh, I'm just going to just pop it. I've got to... Let's put some... <laughs> just keep adding. Just keep adding. <laughs> right. Um, it's like just keep swimming, but with... with <laughs> on a card. Um, <laughs> See, so, I don't think mine look like hearts anymore. I think it just looks like... I don't know. A mess. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's OK. We don't judge your, your craftability. Am oh, I, you've got sparkly ones. I have a pen. Am I allowed to write You on can it? write on there as well, well if I'm you'd gonna, like to. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write the word heart on the heart. Nice. Oh, no, but I've started the letters you've too started big. a bit it's too big. <laughs> so now it, it's... There we well, it's, go. You managed to fit it on. Yeah. Um, 
and I'm going to write something on, on as well as um, um <laughs> oh, what should I write on my Valentine's Day card? Um, um something romantic. Oh, I... oh and so the proper that's that saved it. That's great. There we go. See, a lovely little romantic message. <laughs> I'm doing mine all seriously, and yours is crude. That's serious, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying, it's, it's a serious message. Yeah. <laughs> See, you've got heart and soul. That, that's important too. Okay. Cool. So once you've once you've done your, your card, right, and you've got. Oh, little little white pieces of card, like confetti. Oh, we, yes. we need to make a pop up for inside the card. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, so first, it, you've got another sheet of card with a coloured side and a white side. Okay. Okay. And we need to fold this with the coloured side on the outside. Right. Okay. And fold it in half. I've not, I've not done all the folding for you. What, what, the, the, the coloured bits outside? Yeah. Right. It's like another version of the colour. <coughs> right. But without all the shite stuck on the outside of it. Got it. Okay. Now, on the folded edge, inwards, we need to draw half of a heart. Okay. Okay. That's just a kid. That's just going to. I'm not very good at drawing hearts. So there we go. So that's that's half a heart. Right. Is it? It's okay. half a heart. Yeah, yeah. Because you've got the, the um, bits inside. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Now, when we're going to cut this out in a moment, mm -hmm. but you need to leave the top tabby bit. So you need to leave the space. So just to, to give you an example, when we cut down, we're going to give it a little moment there. Right, okay. Okay, and then cut along your line. Gosh. So I'm doing that now, I'm cutting it yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, do it now. Okay. I'm so competitive. I'm like so oh, yeah. scared of getting oh, okay. this wrong. Yeah, it's got to be mint. Right, so I'm leaving. So you're leaving a little tab at the top. At the top. Yeah. Okay. So right. you've got your heart, you've got a little thing at the top. Yeah. Okay. Now on the fold, we need to take out a little tiny bit of the fold. Okay, so we're going to cut down that and then along Whoops. so you're just taking out a little nick okay okay so that when you open it the two pieces the the little tabby thing is two separate pieces oh right so so the tabs two separate pieces mm -hmm. right okay done lovely okay now if you fold those down. Fold the tabs down. Yeah, so they're going to the, so the, I don't explain this. So the, the, <laughs> the coloured side yeah. is going down towards the white side, like that. Yeah. Yeah, because they, they need to go on the inside of your card. Right, got it. Okay. So where your card is, yeah, we're just going to stick with a bit of sellotape the tabs down. Oh. So your heart should be sticking up at the top of the card. Okay. I think I've done it wrong. I'll I mean, tell you why I've done it wrong, because my tabs aren't straight. That's it, you can neaten them up. It's okay, they don't need to be straight. It's just so that you can affix them to the card. Ooh, affix them to the card. The idea is this is going to be a pop-up, right? It's a pop-up, yeah, yeah. I don't know if it is. <laughs> oh, man. Let me see. <laughs> it's all gone wrong. Oh no, that's right. Is it? That's right. Yeah, yeah. You sure? As long as your gap is in the middle of the card. Right. 
Oh man. It's Art GCSE all over again. I'm just going to trim the end off because my, my heart was sticking out the bottom. There we are. I'm gonna, so that it doesn't look like it's an accidental fold, I'm just gonna crumple the heart in loads of places, oh. which is uh, deeply metaphorical. And that's just like <laughs> a, a battered, battered heart. But it's gonna be, it's not gonna be pop up, but it's gonna be like 3D because I'm only gonna stick it down like in the middle so that okay. the outside bits are like still, still. So it's less of a pop-up, more of a waft up. A waft up, I like that, yeah, yeah. Right, let's just bang that, bang that in there. Great, lovely, lovely yeah. jubbly. Right, I'm ready, okay. I'm ready, hey. So after three, I'll let you do yours first. One, two, three. Ah, that's beautiful. And then I've, I've done my pop part. There you go. Oh no. That's <laughs> right, in what dimension was that ever a heart? So what? I was trying to do the little, you know, the bit at the top which goes like that. Yeah. That's the bit I was trying to do there. <laughs> well. But yeah, and on that note. Um, it's good though, it's yeah. good. Yeah. I was like straight. But <laughs> yeah, if you if you can't get any peen or any vagine on this Valentine's Day, be a crafty queen. Right, the front of my card, all the inks starting to smudge off, like all the arts are just dissolving like, like every relationship I've ever had. But never mind, that's enough of that. We're going to move on to poetry with me. All right, poetry! Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now, as it's Valentine's Day and we've got a poet in, we're going to get all loved up in a poetic way with Dominic Berry. I'm like your plants when i am low i love the light that you bestow your brown eyes shine you glow with glee into your home you've welcomed me it's where the air knows laughter's flow your jokes will warm me top to toe there's life that thrives from roots below. The plants get water, we share tea. I'm like your plants. I'm nourished where I love to go. Into your tender care, I know there's nowhere else I'd like to be. Into your heart, you've welcomed me. My life is greater here i grow i'm like your plants that was beautiful oh thanks mike no Thank problem just, yeah I'm, it's a it's sincere not, poem proper it's not romance. often that i'm quiet <laughs> but yeah that's that's a beautiful po is, is that the the poem about your, your ex-partner we were chatting about that on the last show, yeah. weren't we? Yeah, because I, I was dating someone when this whole book was uh, was written, product placement. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I wrote tons of love poems, loads of them, and that's the only one that went in there. So yeah, yeah, it is, it is. And uh, yeah, I really enjoy that poem. I think that's a great thing that's a really modern way of being. When I chat to my stepdad about like his past girlfriend he's not in touch with any of them and he finds the concept of having friendship beyond romance alien and it's mm. like but if you've been that close to someone of course there could be reasons you don't stay in touch but you know lewis and i are super close and i feel nothing but joy when i think of our romance so it's great having that poem remembering that special time yeah and it definitely it definitely shows um yeah um okay i, I know i know in that book you've got some more lovey poems Maybe about a friend? Yeah, that's true. I feel really strongly about that. Like a lot of the books about friendship. This is a poem uh, about my friend Michelle, about where she works and how I feel when I spend time with her. It's a sonnet. It goes like this. 
Some children can't control the things they do. They sometimes scream and sob or hit and bite. But there's a special school where they have you. And when their world is dark, you are their light. The government control and what they do won't make it easy, but you do stay bright. Despite the bite of funding cuts, there's you still glowing, growing when their grip is tight. Your patience, love and kindness shining through. Then after work we meet, a true delight. You say you're low, but jokes and laughs with you are greater than with most folk at their height. I treasure all the time you spend with me. You make my world a brighter place to be. I hate you with these poems. You're really <laughs> keeping me quiet. I'm just getting enthralled. I'm, I'm a loud, obnoxious person. Why is this working? <laughs> okay, so, um, so, so you said it's about your, your, your really good friend. Uh, what do they do for work? She works in a school for children with autism and uh, situations where they require extra care and... It's a job I admire her for doing so greatly because, you know, a lot of the actions these children do is beyond, you know, their control. And she is so patient and so supportive. And, uh, you know, I've been able to go in and say poems to these children. At first, we're like, given where they're at in life, are they even going to be able to engage? We didn't know. And, and they really do like to, to see children who don't always engage with all things laughing at the jokes and like listening to it. It's, it's amazing. So uh, that's been something really new into my life that Michelle's brought to me. It's wonderful. Brilliant. And it definitely, definitely comes across. Um, so that's great. Have you got any more? Lovely. Oh, go on, I'll do one go more. On, Poem's on. always, go poem's on. always <laughs> up for one more. So this is a, such a short poem. It's for uh, the friend who's, who's been in my life the longest, uh, my dear friend, Ian. This is my poem celebrating uh, the friendship between him and me. It goes like this. We are like puppies. <laughs> the way that we play, our happiness holding the weight of the day. We are two cheeky mongrels, the wild and the stray. For we are like puppies, the way that we play. Our happiness holding the moments we share. For we are like puppies, despite our lost hair. All days are better, because I know you're there. Our happiness holding the moments we share. We're two cheeky mongrels, the stray and the wild. We laugh away troubles. Life's easy and mild. For 20 years, you've kept the joy of a child. We're two silly mongrels, the stray and the wild. And we are like puppies. Our games never end. There's never been pain which your presence can't mend. You're loyal and awesome. You're this man's best friend. And we are like puppies. Our games never end. I'm going to say something straight away this time. Ah. <laughs> um, just because I don't like being non-verbal. Non um, another beautiful poet. It, much more fun. But still, I, I can really forget the, the emotion. So, come back in. Come back oh, in. I'd love to. Hey, oh, come on over. Come on over. Hey. Oh, lovely. Thank you very much. Oh, great. Um, so, so, three really lovely poems. I know. Last time you had me on, I was with all the cheekiness and all, all the... the bums. All the bums, <laughs> all the bums, yeah. Not a bum in sight for Valentine's, yeah. <laughs> so, you've got lots of lovely poems. Some with bums, some without bums. Yeah. Is a bums a theme? Oh, very much so, yeah, yeah. I used to think that, like, there was a maximum number of bum poems I could have, and I okay. think that's the thing about getting older and being more confident. It's like, the more bums, the better. Yeah, yeah, there is a, <laughs> an embarrassment of bottoms. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
half and just bottoms, apparently. Um, is that going to be the next title, the next one, maybe? I think it's, yeah, I think it's overdue. Yeah, Best yeah, sign me bottoms. up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. OK, so last time you were on, you said you had a couple of gigs coming up. Mm. Yeah, have you got any more coming up in February, maybe March time? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, well we're coming up to half term, so uh, that's generally when I take over with uh, poetry for, for children and, and families, which I resisted for so long, for ages. Like People are like, you know what, Dominic, your energy, mm. kids would love that. And I'm like, how dare you? I'm a political activist. <laughs> I'm I speak a serious person. <laughs> I speak exclusively about men's bottoms <laughs> and the political significance of such things. But, but no, no, I started writing for children. Children and uh, I love it. I love it so much. So um, where am I? Where am I? 22nd, I'm on at Salford Arts Theatre. So I'm bringing my, my show Spark the Goblin Wizard, which is so old now. It's older than most of the children who will come and watch it. But, but please do come along. It's a real family show, like jokes for everyone in, in amongst all the poems. I, it's a real privilege to mince about on stage, just like <laughs> chatting nonsense. I'm, I'm a very lucky fella. So, uh, yeah, come along. Salford Arts Theatre on the 22nd of February. And then, and then you're back to the, the adult tour. That sounds like you're doing porn, I'm sorry. Well, men's <laughs> bottoms, isn't it? It's, it's close enough. Yeah, this tour's going on forever. It's really weird, like, uh, as an artist, you put your heart and soul into every project you do, even Valentine's cards, you know? <laughs> and some of them take off. <laughs> Some of them don't take off, and uh, yeah, I'm just really grateful. This tour, this tour for Yes Life, it's going on for ages, so I've got dates all through the year, and you never, you do your best. You kind of tell people who organise arts events, I'm doing this thing. So uh, yeah, check out my, my website, dominicberry.net. I'll keep that updated with where I'm heading. Great, that's on screen, right underneath your chin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. And if people wanted to find you on social media and that sort of thing, where would we find you? I'm on Instagram, the poet Dominic. That's the only one these days. It's a weird one, isn't it? I'm a bit, I'm a bit like pulling back from all the social medias and all. Okay. You know, like you, you don't want to be friends with Elon on Twitter, then? No, oh, I deleted my Twitter. I deleted it. Deleted the whole it. thing gone. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, we we need it. We need it. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, Facebook. People are like, no one uses Facebook. I get work offers through Facebook. I get gigs through Facebook. And uh, but I'm I'm really careful these days with what I right. I kind of think, you know, you can't be like, oh, I'm so annoyed at my ex boyfriend. You know, you you know. I think when you're in the arts, you gotta use it like you're chatting in in an office or whatnot. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah. yeah, which I can't always be bothered doing, which is why I'm on it less and less and less because you know. But that's probably a good thing. Well, it, yeah. it keeps you entertained in other ways. Indeed, so, yeah. indeed. More time for video games and <laughs> men's bottoms. Yeah. Two <laughs> at hands the, for at the, Two hands for reason. At the orgy, which has been promised to me <laughs> by the horoscopes, we all know they're a hundred percent accurate. So uh, yeah, I'll be very disappointed if the orgy does not happen. My crying wank will happen. But that's <laughs> almost the end of the show for now. <laughs> Remember to join us on our social media at the Could TV, our website thecud.tv, and of course on YouTube and podcast services. Just search for Chewing the Could. Thank you for watching. It's been brilliant, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Nice one. Bye bye. 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 Any points about music?